Welcome to the crib, ladies. Every city I be feeling like the man. In the section, I be chilling with the fam. Come on, nigga. Shawty throw it, yeah, she know I'm throwing bands. Seven dirty, I'm throwing two and thirty bands. Big porn, nigga. Big porn. Big porn. Top of money that you cannot understand. Got two hundred on the left hand. Come on. Now she acting like a fan. Love the way you throw it. Don't you ever give it up. Running out of time, I'm running out of luck. She wanna have me. Dummies, we back for another story time. It's like, y'all not dumb. All right, my friends, we back for another story time. Uh, I went to my first mansion party, the stereotypical mansion party in Beverly Hills with the girls, the infinity pool, the models, the views, all that stuff at this famous streamer's house. Stuff was literally ridiculous, but I'm gonna break down to you what it was really like going to a mansion party in LA with all that stuff. Was it Diddy or no Diddy? I'm gonna get into all of it start to finish let's do it but i'm giving you my intro first because yeah let's run that <laughs> <laughs> you're watching neslo tv <laughs> so let me just first get into how it even happened how everything came about my boy Chromie, who I met last summer, hit my phone. I was like, yeah, bro, we're throwing a major party in Beverly Hills. I'm like, huh? He's like, yeah, pull up tomorrow, just but by yourself. And I'm like, huh? Said mansion party, so I'm like, all right, bet, like I'll slide. In my head, I'm not thinking anything of it because you know, I've never been to one of these. I'm not thinking that it's actually gonna be like a real life bad house looking over all the others in Beverly Hills, all that stuff. I'm thinking it's gonna be at somebody's random apartment in the middle of like, you know, somewhere random. Bro, I'm going there, I'm driving, right? I get to the like, maybe a quarter mile away from the house, like a full quarter mile. Not even, I can't even see where the house is at. It's security talking about some, are you RSVP? <laughs> Excuse me? He's like, are you RSVP? And I said, oh nah, but uh, I know Chromie. He said, oh, you go with Chromie? Oh yeah, you good, go ahead. I'm like, all right, bet. Dog, this is actually crazy. I literally went to the security guard and he's like, he's like, are you RSVP'd? I said, uh, nah, but I know Chromie. He said, oh, Chromie said you good? Oh yeah, you good, pull up. So we walking into the function now. We gonna see what it's talking about, but this is wild. Like, bro, we're in the hills for real. So yeah, let's see how I go. So, cool, park the car. I'll just start from the beginning. The second I walk inside, cause I see Chromie outside, he let me in. Second I walk inside, I'm like, excuse me? I didn't think this stuff was real. Bro, I turn to my right, it's a bunch of girls, it's a DJ, it's bottles, they got the stuff sponsored by Wingstop, so it's Wingstop everywhere, everybody's smacking wings, everybody's drinking, it's good music, it's good vibes, a bunch of girls, a bunch of guys, I'm looking at the drip, everybody dripped out, I came in there in sweatshirt, sweatshorts and a t-shirt, bro. Sweatshorts and a t-shirt, I felt like a lame, and I was, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm feeling like lame right now, but yeah, so, I'm in the house chilling and I'm, I got my camera with me. I'm just recording Chromie, but he's walking me through it all. We see the infinity pool. You see the stuff, the pool is crazy. Stuff looks over all the hills. It was wild. You see the pool, you got the pool right there. And then as you, the pool goes, it's like a balcony. But then not only is there a balcony, there's a balcony above the balcony. So imagine you on this balcony looking out and then there's another balcony above you and it's still the same house. The stuff was wild. I can't make this up. But it's cool because I got videos to show y'all. But you no, know, that stuff was ridiculous. So that was that. Uh, the girls were just, they were everywhere. However, however, I will say this. These bad hoes or these bad girls are broke. A lot of them are broke. <laughs> It's kind of funny because you see them posting these nice dinners and they post their little view from the pool. When I pulled up, I see this like old beat up Chevy whatever in front of me. And I am not, I am not rich. I have never said that I'm rich. I am not rich myself. However, I don't sit here and act like I am and I never flaunt that I am. I always say the opposite. I always like, yo, I'm not rich. These bad hoes want to come off like they're rich. I see five of them, all of them are really attractive. They hop out this beat up Chevy. I'm like, yeah, all right, whatever. You know what I mean? I'm not even paying them any attention. I don't care about, I don't care about none of these women. I'm just sitting there, but I'm watching them get out the car. They came in looking like they were the baddest things ever. And I'm looking at them get out that car. I'm like, huh, but you guys have all this money. Why are you pulling up in that? 
and then you see them the second they get in there they go right to their little right to the edge of the pool and everybody's taking their pictures to show that they're at this mansion to show off this little lifestyle all that social media stuff is fake these bad hoes aren't bad these bad hoes aren't rich don't believe everything that you see just because you see it because i'm seeing the behind the scenes of it i'm like oh so this is how you guys actually pull up you don't pull up and you know, black trucks and Lamborghinis and all this other stuff, you don't pull up like that. You pull up in beat up cars and then you go take your little pictures looking all cute and stuff. I know what it is, but yeah, cool. Everything progresses. Now we had a different part of the party. He's walking me through the house. This man take me up to a streaming room. I'm like, yo, this is the craziest setup I've ever seen. It's lights everywhere, it's multiple cameras. This man got all types of elite cameras. He got reds. A red camera is $40,000 and he had two of them i'm looking around like yo who is this come to find out later on that it's neon sniper panda most of y'all might not have heard of him but he's a huge twitch streamer we got a million uh what's it called a million followers on twitch this man also has a crazy podcast kai sanat been on his podcast twice and i'll show you the clips from the same room that i was in i'll show you the clips of the room and i'll show you kai in that same room t grizzly he got all types of people that are recorded at this house and i'm like dang that makes sense then we keep going it's a music recording studio in the crib as well i'm like dog how much money do you have to where you can have a podcast studio a music studio infinity pool four stories in beverly hills are you kidding me are you really kidding me i couldn't believe it that stuff was ridiculous so yeah i'm just looking around at all this stuff and it was just so it was so interesting to see how these parties actually go because you hear about this oh is it diddy oh these diddy parties in la diddy this diddy that bro there was nothing diddy about it like literally it was just a bunch of people with a lot of money coming together chilling dancing eating wing stop and vibing like there was nothing diddy about it nobody did anything weird nobody said oh put your phones up and do all this other stuff like no and just see a bunch of people in there chilling. There were some streamers in there doing like some IRL streaming stuff. People were doing like some little interviews and stuff in there. And everybody else was just vibed out. Like it was just a good time. People didn't judge because like everybody in there, obviously, if you in there, you're supposed to be there. There's no randoms in there. So it was just cool, man. I was just, I'm just sitting back taking it all in. Like, oh shoot, we out here. So I'm like, man, I can't wait to tell my YouTube about this because they ain't gonna believe this one. <laughs> but yeah. That was it, man. Like, other than that, it really wasn't anything more to it, for real. Like, I'm just sitting there enjoying it all, taking it all in, and then it gives you, like, a motivation because this is how these people live. I'm trying to meet people. I'm trying to get in contact with people. I'm meeting people. I'm trying to get numbers and stuff like that. You know, I'm trying to just network my way through it instead of just, like, sitting there. Yeah, it's one thing to go to this party, but if you don't get anything out of it, it's like, what's the point? If I go to a bunch of parties and I don't gain anything from them, then you're just wasting time. You feel me? We don't have time. We're trying to get stuff done like now we ain't got time to waste so yeah it was just cool it was a cool experience to like actually go to like one of these parties firsthand and see what it's really like and i thought always always like always i'm gonna always look out for you guys and if i experience it y'all gonna experience it too so you know what i'm saying i hope that this gives you a little bit of perspective kind of shows you what it's like to go to one of these parties hope you guys enjoyed if i go to another one you know what i'm saying i'll vlog it next time i'm gonna be more uh like transparent with my camera i was kind of being low key because i didn't want to be like you know vlogging it like this these people don't know me i didn't want to come off like i'm weird or something so i was kind of just being low key taking little videos like that but next time i go to a party i'm gonna make sure that y'all really i'm gonna really give y'all like the first hand point of view and we're gonna get it litty so yeah i hope y'all enjoyed this story about la and how it's been and how the party was and all this stuff and i'll get back to y'all in the next one i'll catch you later